No, we stole it. I killed it. <laughs> I don't know. It was trying to protect itself because I was going to break it. Hey, dump truckers, Dominique here. We're in Michigan at the Eden Cummins Proving Grounds trying out the new Endurant XD automated transmission. This dump truck is loaded to 83,000 pounds. The trailer is weighing in at 29,000 pounds, bringing the total weight up to 112,000 pounds for the combination. So they're like a like pothole simulators. Oh, okay. So they'll twist the axles and suspension and rough. <laughs> okay. Not too much for transmissions, but more for structural chassis frame suspension. Seven eight eight zero entering all the first entrance in route to the The Endurant XD Pro offers 18 forward speeds and 6 reverse speeds, three of which can be locked out. Pro also offers up to 2,050 foot-pounds max torque capacity, 605 max horsepower, and an unlimited gross combined weight. The Endurant XT Pro offers all of this while keeping the system as light as possible. The system comes in at a combined weight of 813 pounds, which includes the transmission, clutch, and oil. I'm going to go ahead and get in the left lane, and just after those signs, we have to be a little bit like sharper than a 90 degree. Outside tires might hit the grass a little bit. It fits. We're gonna go down that. Yeah, we're gonna hit that way. infield route so it's about two miles of kind of winding roads uh, back past a pond so we're all inside the old okay. I mean this definitely feels like a, a road to a dump site yeah you're not gonna get stuck it's maintained with a grader and stuff like that so it's not quite off-road yeah. But it's not the highway.
couple laps through here. There's some spots where we can, you know, try reversing. Oh, that would be cool. Bobby, Chris, and Chris are with us in the pickup right there, I think. Yeah, they are. Gears are set up for me, not for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll just check it before you try reverse out. <laughs> so it's basically a big oval. There's a cut over here in the middle. We can just keep going straight. We can come back this way so you can do a little bit of like a figure eight. Okay. wide here, this is kind of, you can't see it, but it's about a 180 degree turn. Okay. Oh, this trailer tracks pretty well, you don't have to go as wide. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. We test drove this a few weeks ago. Oh, to make sure that it would fit? a little bit like it shifted earlier like you can just um with the automated controls just keep going and it'll tell you when it doesn't like when this when the speeds when the you know engine speed doesn't match the vehicle speed for your requested gear okay. it just won't shift you can do the same thing you can force it down too oh, i didn't realize i could do that yeah that's, that's cool. what we said like design for every driver you don't have to tell like the kind of rookie driver off the street doesn't need to know that kind of finesse control, but it's there, like if you need it. Yeah. Well, I like. It's, you not, know. it's not required knowledge to drive. Let's see if we can get it to. You can. Lock, yeah, but it you won't can go get, any further than 13. Yeah. We do all kinds of like abuse testing. You can click it as much as you want. <laughs> Manual mode will actually hold the gear and you can uh -huh. still drive like that. Yeah. But a lot of times you can just do it while driving without having to push that other button. So that's where I was describing earlier. You can be working like a panel shifter. Yeah. Okay. That's really freaking cool. So I get to control the gear if I want. I like how it just decides what gear to start out in and it doesn't start in first. Yeah. And it just went from 7th to 9th, and that is cool. I, I love that it skipped gears on its own. You know, because traditionally you would expect, I, I guess that I've never driven one, but the cooler style, I would expect it to run through every gear on the downward shift. It's like two generations ago they did. Okay. The last generation, the one we're selling now, Ultra Chip Plus, um, skipped more. Um, it wasn't always as intuitive on its decisions. Um, so a lot of times what we want to avoid is like gear hunting. Mm -hmm. You know, skip two or skip three and then immediately downshift. You know, go yeah. up two and then come back one, you know, within a span of, you know, 40 seconds or something. It's that's what we call it gear hunting. Yeah. a little bit so not so much on a curve it is all curved but
probably turn the Jake off. Okay. First time backing up. Does it, so, it how does it... Our, it picked R2. So in okay. reverse, you can configure your default reverse gear. Okay. You like R1, R2, R3 as the default. So if I decided, um, if this was my truck and I decided that R2 was too high, I could put it, it on R1. first every time, yeah. Yeah. But you can also block out top gears. You, so, you can say R1 every time and only R1 and just lock them all out. Oh, okay. Well, that might be kind of nice. If you're... And then if you stop, you can change it at any time. You can push the... Just toggle it just like you... Yeah, just like you were doing in the drive. It's nice because it, like, it idles back. Yeah, so it, it goes into what we call creep mode, so it'll keep the clutch locked. Yeah. Just that engine idle. Yeah, that's what I that's what I want in a in a reverse. Is to because when you're backing in somewhere and you're like gonna jackknife or whatever you're gonna you can do. Just, even when you're backing slowly like this, you can just push. You, you didn't have to push the brake, but you can just push down at any time the downshift request. Uh huh. And it'll go to R one. Okay, I'm gonna pull up and back up again. <laughs> The... We're gonna back up a couple times here, guys. And we also have what we call like creep mode mm -hmm. shifts. So when it's going slow like that, um, just once we start going again without touching the pedals, go ahead and start moving. Once we're moving and without touching the pedals, you can upshift or downshift with the stock and kind of control your speed. Oh, okay. So that's R1 there. So it's like this axle ratio and this setup, that's as slow as you're going to go. Yeah. Shift. R2. So then it's not going to... It's not going to speed up, it's just going to... No, you know, it'll speed up a little well, bit. Well, yeah. You're slipping the clutch a little bit there to do that. Um, the step between R3 and R4 is the shift into high range. Uh-huh. And it's a very large step. Um, oh, okay. So we'll be going like 10 miles an hour. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't want to do that right here. Well, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we can do that on the pavement. We'll get there. just straight away without without the trailer. <laughs> backing up, it, like with a trailer on, that's pretty much the only kind of backing you do. I like how when I let off, it slows way down. That's. That's what it's supposed to do. So it's more like a it's more like a manual. Yeah, the clutch stays closed and it goes back to idle. Yeah. We call it creep mode. Creep mode. I like creep mode. Creeping. <laughs> well, especially because I uh, a lot of times when I'm backing up, it's in between piles, it's in between equipment, it's in between other trucks, and so you want to be backing around a corner. This trailer also backs really nice, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, the, I was, I'm not going to lie, when I came here I was like, they're not going to impress me, it's not going to be like a manual, and now I'm like, well this is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean this is, like, it's next generation, it's not to overhype it, yeah. uh, but it's, this is really, to be on Hager County, our third or fourth generation of like automated, eight, just of the 18 speeds. Yeah. Um, so it's all new. Uh, some of the software is shared with our, you know, the Endurant HD, the, the little brother of the group. Uh, but compared to what we're selling now for automated 18 speeds, this is, you know, more than a decade of improvements. Oh, yeah, of innovation. And, yeah. And, okay. That's cool. I like the idea of the manual mode for like situations where you're in slippery conditions and because that's that's a lot of drivers biggest fears is not being able to control what gear you're in when it's slippery. Does Bobby want to drive this? I'm gear? sure he you want to swap now before yeah.
loop. And uh, it's his turn to give it a shot. <laughs> it's 112,000 pounds with all the weights on the back and the load on it. I'll show you guys as he drives off. Pulling the trailer through here, it's just enough fun. And at this weight, um, come through here into the dump truck at like 65,000. Yeah, it's you want the drop axles down? Um, yeah, you can put them down. Just I'm on, and the third one's hiding over there. Okay. <laughs> heavy as we're loading today, they're producing the lifts. Yeah. They don't normally. Yeah, it's a long truck with a lot of weight on it. <laughs> We had the drops down for part of it and then uh, when we were on the road and then when we were off road right before I backed up I turned the drops off or I rose I raised them up and then I didn't put them back down because I traditionally don't have my drops down when I'm on you know off road you know only on the highway. So we were also we we're doing the reverse and we were also playing with the uh, the manual mode so like you can use it like a paddle shifter and push it up or pull it. Yeah, you don't, you don't yeah. even have to push the button. Yeah, he was showing me yeah. that before and you can do it in reverse too. Yeah. Uh, that, the 990, that one would do it up, I think to third, R3, maybe it's R4. Okay, I was gonna climb over the guardrail right here and I can't, I'm too short. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm on the other side of the guardrail. He said one of them is a pretty big step. It's the shift into the range. Basically, yeah. you have three low range and then three high range. Okay, so we, it would do it up to R3 and then it wouldn't go past that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be at a high RPM. Yeah. Yep, this is a big giant minivan. <laughs> I like what you said. <laughs> you wanna do another lap or you wanna head back to the parking lot? And Whatever you guys wanna do. Yeah, I think we'll get. Yeah, it's one o'clock. Okay. We'll drop this trailer and we'll so just go, just go out here. Yeah, go straight. We're gonna go left of that yellow sign. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, just looking back to channel one now. Going to channel one. Just wanna look for any like oncoming traffic, but we're just gonna merge. This thing knocks the mud off. <laughs> or tries to. 7880, exiting infield for the oval in route to the skin pad. He's so funny because he's smiling, but He's not smiling as big as I was because I freaking love trucks. I wish I didn't love trucks so much because they're so gosh darn expensive and I don't have that much money. All right, I think we're good? Yeah. All right, we're headed to the off-road. It does work in reverse. The shake? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're really good. Well, there you go. <laughs> you just hit it for four. Holy crap. We're going so fast. Oh my gosh. This makes me nervous. Hey, you're getting paid <laughs> by the load. You gotta go. I got just. <laughs> I'd go, no, just uh, go all the way back to the start of okay. the sand pit and then we'll just drive in there. Okay. Do we have to go that fast or can I just oh, chill? No, no, no.
Oh, I'm still in R4, so I guess we're going fast. I mean, this, like right now, this is it. This is how you would be back, you know. At 13 miles an hour? Yeah. Like if, you, if you had miles to go. Yeah. That's how you do it. It's not a 2,000 RPM. Yeah, I guess if you're paving, you're on a highway, and it's a straightaway, and yeah. It's okay. for miles, when you have miles to go. Yeah. Look back in from the next on ramp. Okay. We're configured so, the way we want to be configured. Yeah. So I would, I wouldn't stop. I'd try to follow some tracks and just maintain speed. Okay. So I'd go in with a little bit of momentum. Do you think I should go for the... So the darker dirt or uh, the lighter? I'd go for the lighter dirt. Okay. It's driver's wet. And we'll go wider than you're trying. You'll, you'll plow a little bit. Okay. As you try to turn, it won't, <laughs> it won't want to. Just try to follow ruts from someone else. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not sinking it. So we no. can do a couple laps. That, you we can. That was easy. Yeah. That, you made your sand pit sound way worse than that. Well, we just kind of like backed down, so. You want to back up and do it yeah, again? Yeah, yeah, we can do it again. Um, you don't know. It's different every day. Okay. It literally changes with the weather. I'm sure it does. I would um, just take with you. Okay, come on. Okay, now I like our four. Let's go. <laughs> Productive. It is. Let's get things done here, people. It's <laughs> so good. You're actually a dump truck. <laughs> ah! You're gonna drive it like you get paid by the load. Ah! 18 miles an hour in reverse. I've never gone that fast in reverse before. <laughs> so we could go a little. We could probably straddle it, like, um, not like this. This side in the in the in the ruts, and then this the, side in like fresh. Okay, there is a pile of sand there on the. Maybe if I just go through. Okay, your, I got. Your plan. guess is as good as mine. I got a plan. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to push the sand with the bumper. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. 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 Oh. Come so on. that was that was it holding the gear. <laughs> oh, it's shifting. It's in third. Oh. Oh, it's shifting in the sand. That's yeah. crazy. Go deeper. It's not this isn't too bad. No, this is crazy. Sand at, at eighty three thousand pounds. And see how like you were just there in seventh uh -huh. driving? It, you're at seventh and at two thousand RPM and it wasn't gonna upshift. Yeah, because it knew it was soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I yeah. Think we're, we're keep doing this. No. Oh. Well, I'd be tempted to bury it on the other side and try to rock free. Okay, come on. Come on, R4. Where are you at, R4? You know what's funny? I came into this like, oh, I don't want to go fast in reverse. And then as soon as I go fast in reverse, I'm like, this is awesome! <laughs> now this is just fun. 19. We hit 19. <laughs> okay. You know, I think that if I was in the passenger seat right now, I'd probably be freaked out. No, we have 19 right. miles an hour in reverse. So if we get stuck, it's going to be right here in this first dip in because it's a little okay. bit deeper. You see how it's wet here? Yeah. It's dry. So we should, should we try to stick all of the tires in the. I'm, a, I'm gonna drive in through the wet stuff here, and then I'm gonna try to get over into the part where there's no worms. Yeah. That's my plan right now. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Traction control. <laughs> oh, down chip. Nope. <laughs> And it's pretty dry today. Yeah, it is. We've done it, but there's literally like two inches of standing water on top of the sand. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it gets. It's 
it's closer to like, I don't know, like raw cake batter, like like chocolate cake batter is what I've ever been to. Oh, come on. It looks like sand, but when it's, when it's super wet, it's more muddy. It's like the sand floats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at all the mess. <laughs> oh, man. So, I'd maybe, so, one thing we could do is enter with the diff locks open. Okay. And. Let's try it. Because I was thinking it was just go wide and get stuck. But if we get stuck with the diff locks on, we kind of want to get stuck with, without the diffs and then rock like well then we'll lock it in and like rock free okay so let's try i'll go around and turn yeah. in past the spot where we've been going in Skills in a dump truck. Um, yes. We can oh. <laughs> no, you're doing good. No, you're... I love it. Because the way you're backing up and going through the sand pit, that's what I do when I'm out here with like the engineers and it drives them nuts. Oh, really? Hey, I'm engineers. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, engineers. I want to go through the sand pit like, you know, nine times in an hour, not three times in an hour. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Let's do this. Might have ruined your, uh, your, your personal. 21, time. 22. Oh my gosh, we made it. 22 miles an hour in reverse. Okay, now I'm freaked out. Okay. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> I'm saying we might have ruined your. You're going to get back to your truck at home. And it doesn't go fast enough in reverse? Yeah, then you're going to throw in reverse driving for you forever now. <laughs> okay. Um, Which one? I'd go in and see if we can get stuck. Okay. And if we make it through, we can back up. We can go in reverse in the sand pit. Okay. And we'll just try to we'll try to bury it. We'll try to get. Yeah, I mean, that was open disc. We were nowhere near. I mean. Oh, there we go. Sharp turn. We're stuck. Yep. We're stuck. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm almost like We've been, We got stuck. Go us. Um, okay. So we can't go forward, right? Nope. So we want to lock the diffs in? Okay. And then rock free. And we're still going to try to go forward. Now, this doesn't, depending on how sharp our tires are, I'd still leave it, but I mean, you're still plowing. So okay. you gotta rock and plow, but rock and plow. go ahead and try it. Okay, rock and plow. Release. Fly. Release. Just release right away and try to build that momentum. Release. Like a release right away. Okay. As soon as you think you've reached like the most forward momentum. Just apply, release, apply, release, like that fast. Okay. Still turn to the right. Yeah. 
power steering. Really? Yeah. There we go. Just rock it. Fly, release. You gotta catch it on like kind of like the back swing. <laughs> Oh, it. I killed it! <laughs> I don't know. It was trying to protect itself because I was going to break it. We, yeah. we probably want to go in reverse at this point to get out. Oh. Okay. Let go in reverse. Follow our tracks out because we might be dragging suspend. We might be dragging the pushers. Oh yeah. That's how this thing gets in like a no-win situation. Now release, or I know how to do the brake. Oops. So that was urge to move, trying to urge to move oh, out okay. of the divot. And it's, that's what it does. I release, I roll forward and release. Then I'll just apply it quickly and go. Oh, made it. Wow, that works. Look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go the clutch a little. Yep. <laughs> well, you can see the chassis marks. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that was our main problem, I think, there. Probably why we couldn't get out. So with the organic clutches, you can smell it like this. And it's warm, but it hasn't, it still hasn't reached its thermal limit yet. Yeah. You're probably getting close with as much as I'm smelling it. Yeah. But it'll pop up on the dash and tell you when it's hot. Okay. Oh, we got the clutch hot. That's cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea of like the rock freak, because you weren't going to like that urge to move that you're feeling kind of now. Like, yeah. You come to a stop. That's not going to get you unstuck. Like, if you just come to a stop, come to a complete stop, okay. just, yeah, just come to a stop. And then just release it, let the, the urge to move feature. Like, it'll launch in the sand pit. Oh, it's going to torque out because it's, yeah. it's lower than the torque, that's because it's hot. It's also choosing park gear because it's, it's hot. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> you go. Oh, release. As soon as you stop making progress, release it. I'd go in reverse. <laughs> Close. I just don't want this to get back. forward we once we finally got out we took a look underneath the truck and the front axle here you can see right there so there's some dirt up on it and that's not just from tire flame but then back here on this pusher tons of dirt so that's why we couldn't get out is because it was basically this was hooked into the ground there's some more down there we didn't break anything and there's no air leaks. Now, to be honest, I probably would have felt pretty bad if I broke something, but it also would have been kind of funny. They were like, don't worry if you break it, we'll just fix it. And I was like, I guess I'm not used to that. 
I mean, obviously, like when I break things, it does get fixed, but you don't want to break things. You're not okay with breaking things. So this is so much fun. Hey guys, so we are about to head in and switch trucks. And I know you guys want to see that one too, but I think you're going to have to wait till the next video.